Today I'm going to show you how we can make these little Scandinavian gnomes that are found in Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. We're going to make two different versions, one with a beard, one with a scarf instead of a beard. So go ahead and make sure you have some drawing materials and we will get started. We're going to begin by drawing our gnome's nose. So we're going to use kind of right in the middle of our where we're going to draw an oval. So kind of a nice big oval for the nose. This is going to kind of help us figure out where we're going to put a few other things. I'm going to put two small circles above the nose for the eyes. You could make them differently if you wanted. Now I'm going to draw two curved lines, one coming outside of each part of our oval, and that's going to kind of be the top of the beard. And then that's going to help us figure out where we're going to put our hat. So we're going to take um, a big curved line that's going to go up around the eyes and back down. And we're going to make another one of those. So right next to that, go right above that, and then we're going to connect the ends with kind of a stick curved line on each side. That's the bottom of our hat. Now we're going to use um, kind of almost like a triangular shape for the hat, for the top part of the hat. So I'm going to kind of curve up and over. So this triangle has more curved um, edges than it does sharp edges. I'm going to leave a space here and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to extend this a little bit and then bring it down so like the hat is kind of like flopping over. Maybe put a little pom-pom on the end. So now that we have the top part done, let's come down to the bottom. So we're going to make his the beard so it's going to kind of be long so it's going to curve down and kind of in so I'm going to start right at the edge of our hat and kind of curve in and down and then the same thing over here starting the edge of the hat and kind of coming in and I'm going to put like a little spiral on the end to show that the beard is curling so I kind of made this little mistake right here I just didn't get that line quite right so if I was doing this in pencil which you should be you can erase that and fix that. I just have a thick line there now. If you wanted to, you could add a little mustache or something underneath that. Um, but you don't have to. You can leave it just like that. Or you can kind of come down like so to make kind of the mustache part hanging down as well. Now we're going to do the body. We're just going to use simple curved lines. So we're going to start right up by our beard and kind of curve out about a little bit and down and around. I'm going to do the same thing over here, and curve out and down and around. And I'm just going to put kind of curves to show the arms maybe hiding behind the back, like you're putting your hands behind your back, but you could draw them waving or whatever you want. That just makes it a little bit simpler. And I'm going to give him some really tall skinny legs just to kind of make him um, look a little bit more um, comical. So I'm just going to use two straight lines for one leg and the same thing over here. And then I'm going to make some um, little boots for him. You can make them however you want, but here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a curved line or like an oval that wraps around the bottom of the foot. So we'll do that on both sides. So that's kind of the top of the, the shoe. And then I'm going to kind of curve down and up. I'm going to make almost like um, a kind of the same line here. So curve, to the curve down and then back around. And I'll do the same thing over here, but in the opposite direction. So it's almost like drawing um, a letter C on its side. And I'm going to start at that point and then curve around and back. And there's our little gnome. Um, we could give it a design or a pattern on its hat, maybe even some stripes on its um, stockings. You can make that however you want. So we have now one that, um, with a beard. We're going to make another one without a beard. So if you would like to um, follow along with that, you can. Or if you want to keep going on this and make different versions of that, you can do that as well. We're going to start off the same way that we did over here. So we're going to start with our oval from the nose. Put in some circles here for the eyes. And we're going to make those curved lines coming on each side of our nose. We're also going to make our hat the same way. So we're going to do a curved line that goes up and over and back down. So that was exactly the same. Now we're going to change things up a little bit here. We're going to do um, some braids that are going to come down the side. 
and then a scarf instead of a beard. So for our braids, we're gonna make kind of almost like a leaf shape. And then we're gonna make a bunch of those, but the next one is gonna start kind of in the middle of the first one. And you can make that as long as you want, and I'm gonna repeat that over here. And then for the bottom, maybe I'll put like a little bow in here, so kind of these oval shapes. And then I'm just going to put one last one. Again, it's kind of a leaf shape, but this one's a little bit longer and skinnier. Or a little lopsided, I would probably go back and fix that. Um, and then I'm just going to put kind of a curved line down the center to kind of show the parting or where the braids connect. Like so. So now we kind of have that established. Let's go back and work on that hat. If we want to make it a little bit different, we can kind of make this one just curve off to the side. So it doesn't fold down like that one does. So you guys could have a lot of different varieties here. Now we're going to make a scarf. So this, scrap, this, this is the top of the scarf. So we're going to make another curved line underneath over to the side. And we're going to make a lot of the scarf kind of wrap falling down. So again, I'm using these curved lines to show that the body is kind of rounded, right? We're not flat. And then maybe just um, another little line over here to see this scarf is wrapped around several times. You could put a few little strings on the end of your scarf. You can give your star scarf a pattern, stripes or polka dots, whatever you feel like. We're going to make everything else just the same. So I'm going to change to make the body, starting over here kind of with these rounded shapes. I'm going to have this one kind of come, kind of hides behind the braid a bit. I don't want her too long or I'm going to run out of room for the legs. And I'm going to put the arms just like I did before. Two little curves. Again, you could make them wavy. I would probably make them similar in size and length to the legs. So long and skinny, maybe a mitten on the end. And for the legs, just these two long kind of lines. There we go with that. And then for our, our shoes again, we kind of need this curve that goes down and around. And then we started at that point and then curve back and around. And if you have a different way of doing things, feel free to do that. All right, I'm just going to give her some stripes and then, you know, we can start coloring. So once again, here are my gnomes all colored. Feel free to add any sort of design you want and choose any colors that you want. You can make more than two. You can make different versions of all of these. I hope you had fun drawing our Scandinavian gnomes and I can't wait to see what you do. Please upload pictures of your artwork to Artsonia. Thank you, guys.